What's up guys? Um, so basically, um, I just done a video and I just thought uh, I could do sort of a review of this Savage. Um, so I have got about five videos on it. I am doing a trade. I'm trading this for a really nice car. Um, so I am actually going to move everything out of the way because these are two big cars. This is my HPR Savage sort of custom. It was a HPR Savage uh, 21. I don't like I don't really like nitros because they're a bit too clunky for me. They're not as fast as electric and they're just a lot more work than everything. So converted it to a electric one can hold about 14.5 volts um yeah so this system um is very really nice super nice uh, it's 120 amp esc and it's um i think it's 950 kv motor um so a few things uh is the shops they're right um for when you get them at first uh but this sort of very sluggish a bit. Um, I'll do a quick comparison. I put these tyres on. Uh, it's bug tyres, um, and these are re relatively nice. Um, they're really sort of small pins tyres. The Talion um, is it has got a huge, I mean, a huge ESE motor combo. These it came out again. Um, so a few things is the shock towers. They're huge. I mean, they're super. I think they're a few five millimeter thick. I think they're huge. Though. Um, this is comes with the um, Talion cross wrench, sort of, and it's sort of raining. Um, but it's, it's really thick. I mean. Okay, so uh, the Talion comes with a really nice radio. Um, it's in my house. Uh, it's really nice though. Um, this car, it currently hasn't got one, but it does come with this um, radio. It's really nice. You can um, switch to standard or uh, beginner mode. You've got dual rate. You've got a set button, middle and select. You can select different models so you can have you know, on road, off road, um, and everything from that. You can program it so you can have it use this in multiple uh, cars so you can get so like four or five of these and then just use one transmitter for like four cars. It's a lot more neater. Uh, what that and everything. Um, so, another thing things what I've done on my sad ball I'm trading this so I will be getting a nice uh, boy it's a really good deal a really nice car um so what I'm going to be doing this no sorry what I've done to this is I've got Kershaw Designs mot uh, motor mount battery trays and a flux gear uh, for the transmission um I forgot to do that no I will be the just so it doesn't flip around. Anyway, um, the chassis on this is really good, um, but it could be just a little bit thicker so it doesn't bend or have a metal um, hole or metal brace, chassis brace uh, stock so it doesn't, like, it doesn't bend. It doesn't fit or it doesn't bend at all. But does then yeah look so, see that I'm not trying to do it in slow motion um super thousand um yeah I've actually contacted to armor and you know, everything uh, because of that the the um Size of the motors are relatively the same. I think this this one is a bit just a tiny bit um, bigger, 
a bit bigger pan. Um, obviously, the, <laughs> the the ESCs are a lot bigger. Um, this can hold six cell. This can hold four cell. Um, this has got, I think it's like a 14 tooth pinion. Well, this one's got a 17 tooth. So this has got a bit more up and go. This one's got a bit more speed. Well, it, yeah, it hasn't got a lot of as much speed as this because you can take six L. But if you was running to these two on four cell probably they'll be relatively the same uh, these are quite not that grippy tires but these are a lot more grippier a uh, bit bigger pins uh, where this these have got really small pins it's got this car has got the HPI Savage has got the um, upgraded sh uh, chassis it's all bend a bit quite a bit well these ones <laughs> they huge not really thick so what I've done is set, I've put a 17 tooth and a 52 tooth 